you read it. I fell in love the way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. This thought-provoking quote comes from the 2012 book, The Fault in Our Stars, written by John Green to depict one of life's craziest and most confusing emotions, love. The wacky emotion that people write movies and songs about, and the magical feeling that many can only describe as butterflies in their stomach. So what exactly is love? According to the newinterestingfacts.com web article entitled Psychological Facts About Love and Dreams, posted January 18, 2017, it only takes about four minutes to fall in love with someone. Even though love may seem simple, the concept of love goes far beyond that understanding. In order to fully grasp this concept of such an unpredictable emotion, we must first discuss what love is, the different measures of love, and some common misconceptions about love. Love is one of the strongest forces in nature that affects both the human heart as well as the mind. According to the September 25, 2016 FactRetriever.com web article, 50 Facts and Facts About Love, written by Corinne Ledhart, the word love originated from the Sanskrit word lavati, which means to desire. Brain areas associated with dopamine and norepinephrine production light up as soon as people focus on the object of their affection. This gets them blinded and high, kind of like someone who's taken a hit of cocaine, says researcher Helen Fisher in the June 30, 2013 web article, Top 10 Scientific Facts About Love. This same article says that being in love causes the brain to have surges of oxytocin flowing through it. This causes a person to have a more relaxed, romantic view of the world. Being in love causes serotonin levels in the brain to drop. If these levels drop to drastic levels, this love could be replaced with possessiveness and obsession. There are many ways to describe love in a scientific matter, but love can also be described psychologically as well. Psychologically, one is more susceptible to fall in love when they're lonely, in distress, or brokenhearted. <coughs> according to the previously mentioned factretriever.com web article. The 2017 New Interesting Facts.com article, Psychological Facts About Love and Dreams, says that you're also more susceptible to fall in love with someone else who's just gotten out of a dramatic or tra drastic situation. Think about it. Throughout literary and cinematic history, the hero always falls in love with the damsel in distress. This, ex is, this is exemplified everywhere. Spider-Man, Frozen, and The Fault in Our Stars. After learning about what love is, I'm sure we're all eager to fall head over heels in love, right? Wrong. In fact, there are actually several different kinds of love, some of which aren't as romantic as you might think. According to the June 25, 2016 web article, Seven Types of Love, written by Neil Burton, MD, ancient Greek, Greek mythology referred to love in seven different forms. Eros, philia, storg, agape, ludus, pragma, and philosia. Eros is a sexual and passionate type of love that romantic relationships usually have a basis on. Ludus is the type of love that's uncommitted, yet enticing and fun, kind of like teasing and flirting. Pragma is the love based on responsibilities and the reasoning that long-term stability is more important than matters of the heart. Romantic love is far from the only passion to fill your soul. Storg identifies as the love that you have for your family, like a mom's unconditional love for her children. Another type of love is philia, which refers to the love for your friends and the supportive companionship you offer for one another. You may find it also hard to believe that a person can find love in unfamiliar things as well. According to the February 2nd, 2017 Robert Reich web article, The Ancient Greeks Recognized Seven Types of Love, Which Defines You, posted to unisoultheory.com, agape is the universal love for living things, and your love for anything with a soul. The previously mentioned article also mentions that philosia is the most important type of love, self-love. This, this is our foundation for our capability to love the world around us, because first we must love ourselves. You can really see that the world truly is built on love. But with so many types of love, it's e easy to see where some things may be lost in translation. With love being such a crazy and confusing concept, it's easy to see where some misconceptions may be formed. One controversial issue when discussing love is how long it actually lasts. Many say that the spark of love is limited, and that this, this, the fading of said spark is inevitable. Biological anthropologist Helen Fisher quoted in a February 12, 2016 WashingtonPost.com article, Five Minutes About Love, written by Mandy Lancaster, bust this myth, as Ms. Fisher's art research has found that passionate love can last for decades. In fact, throughout her research, she found that long-term lovers had the same brain patterns as new couples, except that long-term lovers had less anxiety and worries about their relationship. As many believe that losing a romantic love can be the most heart-wrenching of events, this simply isn't the case. According to the Psychology Today article, uh, Ten Myths About Love Exploded, written by Susan Perry, PhD, February 8, 2015. Research by romantic philosophy author Barrett Brogard correlates that losing a significant other on any account, such as divorce, breakup, or even death, 
is equally as emotionally painful as losing a familiar loved one, like a friend or a sister. Many see love as a very straight arrow goal with tactics and methods to guide you towards unending happiness. Unfortunately, there is no real research to support the fact that you can find love through certain methods and techniques, according to Clyde Hendricks, PhD, in the Psychology Today article, The Lessons About Love, last updated June 19, 2016. This same article mentions that love can vary through so many different factors, including the situation, psychological availability, emotional stability, and mental compatibility. Therefore, love can't be understood for a populated use due to each individual having different standards for each factor. Today, we have found that love is way more complicated essence than many can comprehend. It's clearly not just something that you are either in or not. We committed our minds as we discussed what love is, we were swept off our feet as we saw the different measures of love, and we mended our broken hearts as we discussed some common misconceptions about love. One of the most complex details about love is said by writer and director Ronald Oliver when he says, we just have to accept the fact that some people are going to stay in our hearts, even if they don't stay in our lives. Now, have any of you guys, what's your favorite romantic movie or book? Beauty and the Beast. Now, in these movies and books, did any of them exemplify the damsel in distress situation where they're in a distressing situation and they fall in love with each other? Yes. Okay. Now, has this message today changed how you view love? Yes. yes. Yeah. How so? Have any questions?